Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. Uh, this is one that Trevor brought me back from Vermont. This is Jack Abbey's Brewing. This is their Numb Swagger, which is a black lager brewed with spice. Jack Abbey's Brewing goal is to create truly remarkable beer that combines the strict standards of traditional German brewing with the innovative approach of American craft brewers. We specialize in lagers, which take longer to brew than ales, but yield exceptionally rich flavors and a smooth, crisp taste. All Jack Abbey's lagers are unfiltered and unpasteurized. Sediment in the bottle is normal. Cloaked in a mystery, this black lager was aged with Sichuan peppers. The beer was a winner of the 2013 Battle of the Barrels, and we released this beer with the help of our friend Dan Ng from Barley Corn Craft Beers, Num Swagger, uses locally grown grain from Massachusetts. This is a 5 liter bottle, or a 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, Trevor, thanks for bringing those beers to me, buddy. I do appreciate it, sir. This is a uh, commercial description on this one, brewed with and for the judges winner of the Jack Abbott's Barrel to Barrel, entry by Monochrome by Dan Ng, basically the same thing I just read off the side of the bottle, barrel aged, smoked, and dagger with Sichuan pepper. The uh, food pairings for this beer, cuisine is barbecue in German, cheeses of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue, and cheddar, the meat, beef, smoked meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon. Glassware is a mug, stein, the side L, the stange, which is a slender cylinder glass, like what you see here. That's what I'm going to use for this beer, and not recommended for extended cellaring. This beer is only a 6 percenter, according to what, uh, what I have written here. I don't think it has it on the bottle anywhere. I looked, and I do not see it. Kind of like to have, they need to kind of put, need to put that on the label. So you'll know that it's a lower ABV beer, ABV beer, and uh, you shouldn't try to sell her this beer. Uh, I do like a smoked beer uh, or a Roush beer. Now let me tell you what a Roush beer is. <clears throat> the Roush beer is an old German beer style. Its origin goes back to the 1500s and is the district of Franconia and the town of Bamberg. It's typically of dark color. In similarities of the Oktoberfest beer, green moths are literally dried over an open fire of beech wood, imparting a unique smokiness. Rouse is German for smoke, the usage of which produces beers of an acquired taste. Imagine a smokiness so robust, so assertive, that it tastes of spiced smoked meat. So, there you have it guys, that's basically what a Roush beer is. Uh, I do like, like I said, I do like a smoked beer, uh, and this is, and they're calling it a black lager brewed with spice. So hopefully uh, they've uh, roasted those grains over a fire, we're, we're going to get some uh, smokiness to the, to the malt that they use, so uh, we'll see. Let's get this thing cap, uncapped and uh, get it into this stained glass. Nice little hiss. Let's see what we get here, guys. And this is a 500 milliliter, so I don't think it's all going to fit in here. Look at that. And that wasn't a real aggressive pour, so about three fingers of head in the glass here. 
there are some small bubbles in there, but a lot of them are big bubbles, so I don't think it's going to stick around a long time. So, over to the light, it is a rich red ruby color, a lot of bubbles trimming up from the bottom. I can't see the bulb through it, so it's not super dark. Looks dark in the glass when you're holding it up in front of the camera, but there are a lot of red lights coming through it over here. So we're going to call it a ruby red color, and as I told you, the head is dissipating pretty quickly. A lot of big bubbles in there, so let's get a nose on it. I am getting a hint of that smokiness. I am brewed with the uh, Szechuan peppers. Uh, there is some spiciness going on there. There is a big malt bill on this, uh, even though it's only a six percenter. I am getting a lot of roasted uh, malt in, in, the, in the nose. There is a lot of sweetness, but there is a lot of spiciness in there too. I'm sure that comes from the peppers. And it's not like a black pepper. It's it's more of a more of a pink pepper, or I don't know what a Szechuan pepper is. I don't know if I've ever had one of those or not or any of that. And as you can see the head is basically gone now so uh, just barely covering the top of the beer. Smells sweet. Smells a, a hint of smoke in there. And there is some spiciness on the nose. So let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers everybody. Cheers Trevor. Thank you sir. I have done a couple of Jack Abbey's beers. I haven't had this one though. Not quite as much smokiness as I was anticipating or hoping for. There is some spiciness in there. Maybe a hint of some dark fruit. A lot of roasted malt in there. It's only a six percenter though, so it's not a great big beer. Something you could session very easily. It's very pleasant. Not getting any of that six percent. Very well made beer. But there is a nice hint of that spiciness. A little bit of that pepperiness in there. Just a little disappointed that it's not got as much smokiness as I was hoping. It's got some in the nose, but not so much in the taste. There is a little in there, but not as much as I was hoping for. So and this is, like I said, this is a 500 milliliter bottle. It's a bigger bottle. So we're going to share some of this and uh, sip on it for a little bit and see what we come up with. But they're calling it a, uh, a black lager on the bottle. And Rate Beer is calling it a smoke. It doesn't say so, what type of smoked it is. It just says style smoked. So that, that, that led me to think it was going to be a big smoky beer. And... Beer Advocate says it's a Roush beer, which I read you the description of a Roush beer in there. So, Not quite as much smokiness as I was hoping for, but very pleasant uh, otherwise. A lot of spiciness, a lot of rich roasted malt. Very pleasant. So let's let it warm up. Let's the other half taste it. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Like I said earlier. There's a little bit of smokiness in the nose, but I'm not getting a whole lot on the taste. I mean, it's got a nice peppery roasted malt taste to it, but the, the smokiness is just, it's just not there to be called a Roush beer. And I know this beer is fresh because Trevor uh, brought it back from Vermont and it was, yeah, it, it is fresh. It's about as fresh as you can get it unless you're in Vermont and you, you're there when they distribute these beers. Uh, the 12, he brought me two of their beers, and the 12 ounce bottle does have a date on it, but this one does not. So, kind of disappointed in that, and that's going to cost them a mark. I personally think that this is a nice black lager, but I'm not giving the Roush beer effect. 
like a little bit in the nose, but hardly any in the taste. So let's do the final chug. Very tasty, very enjoyable. But to be called a Roush beer, I would I would think it would need a little more smokiness in the malt than what I'm getting. And not having a date on this 500 milliliter bottle, if it was sitting on the shelf and being a six percenter, that's kind of a information that we need to have. I personally think it's a B plus beer, which is a seven, but it doesn't have a date on it. So we're going to drop it back to the six. I think it's a above average beer. It's a very tasty beer, not any alcohol, very well made beer, but the smokiness uh, is not there. So. Uh, I'm going to give it to 6, which is a solid B. Uh, I did enjoy this. Trevor, thanks for bringing this one by. But, like I said, it, it doesn't have enough smokiness in the taste for me, my opinion, to be considered a rash beer. I mean, I would just consider it a peppery black lager. Uh, that's, that's basically where I'm at with this beer. So let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate, and they say 85 in a very good range. I'd agree with that 100%. Uh, if I was putting a number on this beer, it would be between 85 and 87. So, uh, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 80 overall and 63 in the style. So, I am down, I'm definitely down with that. Uh, I think the 80 number is just a tad low because it is a very tasty beer. A lot of pepperiness in it, a lot of roasted malt in there. Maybe a hint of some dark fruit. Not, not a lot, but I'm getting a little more smokiness on the nose than I am on the taste. So, in 63 in the style. And there's where we have the problem. Uh, to be considered a Roush beer to me, it would need more smokiness. Uh, that, that I'm not getting with this beer. So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, if I was rating this on a Roush beer, my number would probably be consider, considerably lower. Probably in the 70s. Uh, probably somewhere in the 76 or 77 uh, area. Not quite to the 63. But, uh, but, they need, but there, there's no date. I mean, for a 6 percenter, uh, it, it needs to have a date on it, and, and, and like I said, I have one more in there, it's a 12 ounce bottle, a uh, different style of beer, and it does have a date on it, but this one does not, so I, I don't know whether their dating machine can do the 12 ounce bottles and not the 500 milliliter bottles, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not in Vermont, so uh, I've never been to uh, Jack's Abbey's Brewing, uh, but it was very tasty and I'm glad I got my hands on it. Trevor, thanks for bringing it by. B is what I'm going to give it to six. So if you've had this one from uh, Jack's Abbey's, this is their Numb Swagger. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, both sites, Ray Beer and Beer Advocate, are calling it different things. Smoked on one side and uh, a rash beer on the other. I don't. I don't agree with either one of those. I don't think it's a Roush beer, and I don't think it's a, a good smoke beer. It's a very good black locker with some Szechuan peppers thrown in there to give it a little hint of some spiciness. So that's where I'm going to leave it. If you had this one uh, from Jack's Abbey's Brewery, give me some comments back on this one, guys. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.